This is Glenn Delakian here from WAMDA with Henry Addo from Ushahida. How are you? I'm good. Great, great. How is uh, Share Beirut going for you? Um, it's going awesome so far. I'm really Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks so much for taking some time with WAMDA. I have a couple questions. I was wondering if you could go into a little bit how Ushahidi got started, um, where you guys are based, and what, what it means. Um, Ushahidi means testimony in the Swahili language, or what they call Kiswahili. That's what um, Ushahidi means. So we just, and this came about during Kenya post election crisis back in 2008. That was when Ushahidi was born, because during that time, there weren't way, means of um, getting information from the ground level regarding um, the incidents that were happening around the post-election crisis in Kenya then. Great, great. Can, so can you explain a little how Ushahidi works for our viewers? Yes, um, Ushahidi essentially is um, a platform for collecting information and visualizing the information on the map. And there are, there are three main forms of getting the information into the Ushahidi platform. One is um, using SMS, so people can text messages to a number. And once they text the message to a number, it comes to the Ushahidi platform. Another means is to get information via a web form. So you fill web forms on the internet, and then it comes to the Ushahidi platform. And then the last and forms of getting information is using um, Twitter hashtags. So if you define free um, hashtags into the Ushahidi platform, any tweet that has those hashtags get pushed to the Ushahidi platform. So th these are some of the ways of getting information into the platform. Very cool. So how do you attract volunteers, people to come and SMX text you and sort of get the information for you? Yeah, we publicize the Ushahidi platform a lot. And during an incident, for instance, um, we make a lot of noise about it and people get to know about the platform and we try to communicate clearly what kind of um, help we need. So if we need help in translating some of the stuff that have me, um, of the software, we get help in translating those software. And then we publicize the number so people are aware of the number so they can text messages to the platform because we try to tell them exactly what, um, how we're going to respond to the information that they sent to us. In what countries has Ushahidi been most active? Well, um, in terms of develop, development, me, bo, uh, mostly based in Kenya, Nairobi, where we've been developing most of the software. And in terms of deployment, it has uh, really been in within Africa, um, Asia, um, yeah, part of the US. Have been really been, people have been using their platform over there. Great, great. So you mentioned in your talk um, SMS Sync and some other developments that you guys are coming up with. I wonder if you can explain those for our viewers. Yeah, um, SMS Sync is essentially um, a small utility um, tool that runs on the on your Android powered devices, and it it forms as a gateway to transfer text messages that come to the phone or the device uh, onto a web service. So if you have um, a web client or if you have a um, a web service like Ushahidi or um, uh, a web service that accepts HTTP requests, the SMS Sync application can forward that information to um, the platform. And another tool that we've actually we are actually working on that is yet to be uh, publicly available is Swift River, which is um, a tool for creating information and filtering out duplication and automatically tagging the information and trying to make sense out of the massive information that come into the platform and then provide several output um, forms so they are, you can put the information as a map or as a gallery if they are images. So yeah, that's uh, one of the tools that we are working on. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for speaking with WAMDA and best of luck for the rest of the event. No problem. Thanks for having me.